May is National Menstrual Health Awareness Month, and while lawmakers rally at the Capitol to get a bill providing free period products to those who need them passed, nonprofits are hoping relief will come soon. Fox 43 Sayer Williams tells us how the YWCA of Carlisle and Cumberland County is trying to combat period poverty. State representatives have been trying to push forward two bills that will provide free menstrual products to those who need them. When you fast forward to the fact that in 2024, so many of the young ladies in our community do not have what they need, and it's of no fault of their own. While House Bill 851 passed in the House, House Bill 850, which would amend the Human Service Code to allow public service places like public school and colleges offer free menstrual products, still sits in the Senate. I will be walking over to Senator Michelle Brooks's office with a box of tampons to tell her to move House Bill 850. But places like the YWCA Carlisle and Cumberland County have been taking things into their own hands, offering a pad pantry. Here in our county, um, we see from the school districts that girls are reporting that they don't have enough money, their families don't have enough money to be able to buy products. The YWCA Carlisle and Cumberland County pad pantry is open to the public, which means you can come in, grab a bag, come to this dresser, and stock up on what you need. Although this dresser is always stocked, Young says the need for period products increases every year. I think inflation, you know, is, is a big problem because people don't have enough money for food and products. And so we're seeing that there's a big increased need. The pad pantry is stocked by donations and drives, and sometimes the staff even pays for the products out of their own pocket. But they're hoping soon that lawmakers make the move to supply women and girls with the products they need when they need them. So a bill like this, that's a game changer. It allows girls and women to have the products that they need to get through the day so that they continue to go to school, they continue to go to work, they continue to take care of families, and um, they're able to function. Sayer Williams, Fox 43 News.